Well, let's continue our discussion of Sumner. So here, here's a question. Is there any sense in which a moray is true or false? Yeah. And remember when we were looking back at Hume, Hume said that moral beliefs are neither true nor false. They're simply expressions of desires. So is the same thing true with Sumner? Is, a, is there any sense in which a moray is true or false? Or is there never any sense in which a moray is true or false? Well, Sumner's pretty clear about this. He says that a moray or a moral belief is true within the culture. If the culture says this is moral, then it's moral. It's true that this is moral. If a culture says some act is immoral, then it's false that that act is moral. Mm -hmm. So, for example, you know, in our own culture, we tend to value such things as democracy. We uh, think that some sort of political process involving a majority vote is a very good thing, but and that that's great here, but that's not necessarily great anywhere else. Some other places, the political process is very different. And we have, uh, uh, I mean, there's certainly marriage across different cultures, and we, you know, we think that marriage is a good thing, but not every, uh, not every culture values marriage, at least not the same way, or and some some of the things that we do. In fact, our own beliefs, our own standards, our own cultural uh, um, demands about culture have changed in, in recent memory, and even one's behavior at a wedding. That's determined by what's moral or immoral within the culture. You know, we have certain standards here. Uh, and if somebody were to say, oh, I don't know, spit on the bride and groom, that would be considered a bad thing here. This is a bad thing here. But not every culture is like that. Believe it or not, there's some cultures that consider it to be not only moral and permissible to spit on the bride and groom as they leave, but that the guests should spit on the bride and groom. In our culture, it's perfectly fine to go sunbathing. At least in some places, it's fine to go sunbathing. Not every culture has these standards, though. Now, some cultures say it's not a good thing to expose oneself in public. And these, I mean, we all have certain standards. <laughs> I mean, different cultures have different standards about how you can uh, expose oneself. And you know, and here we don't have. Uh, a, you know, <laughs> we have certain requirements that you must keep covered up that are not the same in other cultures. And, and our standards of what we must keep kept covered up are different than other cultures. And, you know, we're much more permissive than some and not as permissive as others. You know, even as much as one wears when sunbathing, you know, much, as much as one wears the sunbathing, that's different from culture to culture. But even where you can sunbathe. In our culture, if you were to start sunbathing in a graveyard, that would be considered a bad thing. You would be considered to be disrespectful and that you would probably be chased out of the graveyard. But in some cultures, not only is this acceptable, it's preferred. There are some places where they say if you're going to sunbathe, if you're going to be outside and enjoy, enjoy your time outside, you should do it in a graveyard. So yes, there are, there is a sense in which a moral belief is true or false, according to Sumner, and that sense is within the culture, within that culture. Outside the culture, it could be different. There's going to be some overlap. But the, but the only sense in which we could talk about a moral belief being true or false is within the culture. What about an absolute sense? Right? Is there any way that a moral belief is true across all cultures? Well, this is highly doubtful. I mean, maybe, remember what some are saying is that what is moral depends upon when and where you are. You might find some overlap between one or two cultures uh, or, or, or even a significant number, but there's never going to be something completely shared across all cultures. And even if it happens to happen across all cultures at a time, it's just not going to happen for very long. Now, according to Sumner, there's no sense in which something is true, in, uh, a moral belief is true in an absolute sense. It's always true regardless, or something's always moral regardless of when and where you are. That does not happen. A more is true only within the culture. Outside of it, there's no guarantees. So like I said, you go to a wedding here, don't spit. If you happen to go to a culture that uh, says this is a good thing, spit away. You must spit away. If you go sunbathing here, great. Adhere to those standards of dress and the proper location. <laughs> if you go someplace else where they say you should go and sunbathe in a graveyard, go ahead. Sunbathe in the graveyard. 
when we have certain standards about what's permissible as far as what's good sportsmanship is concerned, but that's going to vary from culture to culture. <laughs> Even such things as what's considered to be a uh, faithful relationship, that's going to vary from culture to culture. There's no absolute standard. According to, you know, there's, no, there's no standards that applies to all the cultures. And since there's no standard that applies to all the cultures, Sumner says there is no absolute sense hmm, about what is moral that's only going to be within the culture. So yes, amore is true only in the culture. It's true, but only within the culture. 